this is Amanda Way, and I'm getting the reaction from my brother Steven to oh, yeah. a meat video that I was sent to me. It's disturbing. Worse than two girls, one cup. Can't be that bad. It's that bad. It's, yeah. like, really bad. I don't need to play the damn video already. Oh, calm down. Give me a second. Alright, here we go. In the next few minutes, you will be given an eye-opening look behind the closed doors of modern farms, hatcheries, and slaughter plants, revealing the journey that animals make from farm to fridge. Okay. Or for nearly their entire four-month pregnancies, mother sows are locked in narrow metal stalls barely larger than their own bodies. Mm. Many of the animals develop open sores and scratches. Nice. Workers often kick, hit, and yell at pigs to move them. Soon after birth, piglets are castrated by workers who cut into their skin and rip out their testicles. Next, okay. the workers chop off their tails. Both of these painful procedures are nearly always done without anesthesia. Many animals die from botched mutilations. Piglets who become sick or injured or who are not growing quickly enough are killed. Okay. Common killing methods include throwing animals into bins and painfully gassing them with carbon dioxide. Others are killed by being slammed headfirst into the ground. Mm. Oh At a factory farm in Ohio, oh, workers killed injured sows by hanging them on a forklift to be slowly strangled to death, a practice defended by the pork industry. Yeah. Pigs raised for meat typically live only five to six months, a mere fraction of their natural lifespan oh, in overcrowded pens like this. Workers frequently tattoo the animals with ID numbers by hitting them with metal spike mallets. Once pigs have reached market weight, they are sent to slaughter. At the slaughterhouse, pigs are knocked in the head with a steel rod, hung upside down, and have their throats slit. To drain the blood. Topics to horrors few of us can even imagine. At the hatchery, okay, workers yeah, they grind off their beaks sort the males from the females. Because male chicks don't lay eggs and do not grow quickly enough to be raised profitably for meat, they are killed within hours after hatching. Male chicks are typically thrown into giant grinding machines while still alive. This practice is deemed standard and acceptable by the egg industry. Another killing method is to drop male chicks into trash bags to be smothered or suffocated. Right. More than 200 million unwanted male chicks are killed on their first day of life each year in the United States. Well, leaving them alive isn't an option, I guess. I the females know. have it even worse, destined for a life of prolonged cruelty. To reduce pecking, induced by overcrowded living conditions, workers use a hot blade or laser to remove part of the chick's beaks. This mutilation can cause both acute and chronic pain. Their wings walk or turn around without pushing other birds aside. Ugh. The harsh and unrelenting environment of the cage takes its toll, often leading to severe feather loss, open wounds, and birds trapped in cage wire. For many hens, the stressful confinement is too much, leading to premature death. Undercover investigations at egg farms from coast to coast have revealed a culture of cruelty and neglect, including workers stomping on birds, throwing live hens on dead piles and in trash cans, and painfully mangling bird spines in botched attempts to break their necks. At one or two years of age, when a hen's egg mm. production begins to decline, she is violently ripped from her cage. Workers often fling the birds into metal carts where they are painfully suffocated with carbon dioxide. Okay, poultry. Crowded by the thousands into filthy sheds, chickens and turkeys are denied many of their most basic natural behaviors and needs, such as fresh air and exercise. Crates and loaded onto trucks bound for slaughter plants. 
Handling is often violent and frequently causes boosts from their crates, then roughly snapped upside down into moving shackles by their fragile legs. Okay. From there, the birds are dragged through an electrified vat of water which renders them paralyzed, but not necessarily unconscious. They are then pulled across a blade which slices their throats, causing blood to pour from their necks. Okay. Some okay. heads ripped off by a backup killer. Other birds are drowned and scalded in the tanks of hot water designed to loosen the bird's feathers. Yeah. Barry. So cows produce milk for the same reasons that humans do, to nourish their young. But calves on dairy farms are dragged away from their mothers and violently killed, all so that humans can have the milk instead. Others are crammed into massive mud lots. Mm. Workers subject young cows to painful mutilations and amputations. Here, well, a worker hey, cuts off a, a cow's tail, slicing through her sensitive skin, nerves, and bone without any painkillers. Another routine practice is dehorning, burning into the calves' skulls to remove their budding horns. Painkillers are rarely used. A 2010 yeah, undercover is. investigation at a dairy farm in Ohio revealed a farm worker stabbing cows with pitchforks, beating them in the head with crowbars. And okay, is this the same cows. guy? All the, all of them? Okay, then this one guy has some sick problems, Injuries but he doesn't speak for everyone. In filthy, disease-ridden factory farm environments. Cows too sick or injured to stand are called downers and are often left to slowly suffer and die from their injuries. At a fraction of their natural lifespan, the so-called spent dairy cows are prodded onto transport trucks and shipped to slaughterhouses. An undercover investigation at a slaughterhouse in California revealed down dairy cows being kicked, shocked, pushed with forklifts, and water hosed in the mouth and nostrils in an effort to get them to the kill floor. Beef. Most cattle raised for beef endure several mutilations without painkillers, including castration. Yeah, I, the steers. Oh. And hot iron branding. Branding's been around Most since spend the last forever. few months of their lives in overcrowded feedlots, standing in their own waste. Unreliable okay, stunning practices at the slaughterhouse condemn many cattle to having their throats cut, their limbs hacked off while still alive and conscious. Undercover investigations at kosher slaughterhouses in the United States have documented the routine practice of cutting open the throats of fully aware and alert cattle. Alright, this is messed up, yes. Seafood. They can't be too bad. They're fish. Other sea animals are sensitive, intelligent creatures who have a demonstrated capacity to suffer pain. Massive trawling nets indiscriminately drag hundreds of tons of fish and other animals along the ocean floor. As they are dragged up from the ocean depths, the fish undergo excruciatingly painful decompression. The extreme changes in pressure can rupture their swim bladders and pop out their eyes. They are then tossed on board where the surviving fish either suffocate or are crushed to death. Others are still alive when they are hacked apart on these floating slaughterhouses, consumed worldwide, is raised in captivity. Like factory farmed animals on land, farm raised fish are crowded by the tens of thousands in small, disease and excrement ridden areas for their entire lives. When fish reach market weight, they are loaded onto tanker trucks and okay. shipped to slaughter, where common killing methods include slow suffocation. Yes. Pain and suffering as the dogs and cats so many of us know and love. By withdrawing our support of this cruel and violent system, we can put our ethics on the table and make a statement for a kinder and more compassionate society for all animals. For delicious vegan recipes, nutritional information, yeah, you can stop the vegan yeah. stuff. That was my brother. Anyway. Okay, who's this video going to? YouTube. YouTube, that's a little...
18 minutes is a bit long for anything. It's called you cut it in half.